As we all know, KubeCon and Cloud Native Con is just around the corner in its first virtual format. And today we have with us David Van Evren, SVP of Marketing at Mirantis. Are you making any announcements at the event? We introduced uh, Lens. Uh, Lens is the world's most popular Kubernetes IDE. And if you remember back to late February, we announced the hiring of the Container Lens team. Uh, and so since then, they've been working with Mirantis on a variety of Kubernetes related projects. They also were the team that built the Launchpad CLI that was recently announced in Docker Enterprise 3.1 for deploying Docker Enterprise. And they've continued to work on Lens while they've been working at Mirantis. Lens is an open source uh, Kubernetes IDE designed for developers and DevOps to get hands-on with Kubernetes and continue to use Kubernetes across clusters on any cloud platform without losing context. So they can navigate from one cluster to another and their kubectl commands will, will run um, despite whatever differences in versioning they may have within the different Kubernetes clusters under their management. So Lens is the world's most popular Kubernetes IDE today. It has a you know, tremendous following on GitHub with uh, close to 7,000 uh, GitHub stargazers and well over 30,000 users with over 4,000 daily active users. Uh, and all of that is since March of this year. So it's experiencing phenomenal growth. And what we announced is that Lens it, uh, technology has been acquired by Mirantis. Uh, and so the intellectual property rights for Lens are, are now uh, part of the Mirantis technology portfolio. Our intent is to keep Lens free for everyone forever, uh, continue to keep it an open source software project. Uh, we're really interested in partnering with the community to continue to enhance Lens and deliver additional innovative capabilities that, that provide greater business value. Uh, and so as part of that, we will um, introduce an extensible architecture for Lens that will enable an ecosystem of plugins or extensions to be created for Lens by Mirantis and by others, so that we can really, um, you know, realize Lens's full potential. So what should your users be looking forward to when they come to your booth? And so one of the things that they'll be able to see is an extended demonstration of Lens capabilities. Um, so we have uh, the primary founder of Contena uh, speaking during the demo and d sharing some of his thoughts and motivations behind creating Lens. Um, so we're excited to be able to provide that to users. And then we'll go into a thorough demo of Lens capabilities so that users can really see through the eyes of a developer or a DevOps professional exactly how Lens can benefit them and make them more productive. So that's a fantastic complement to the Docker Enterprise 3.1 release that we announced a few months ago. Um, we expect that as Docker Enterprise users deploy Kubernetes clusters, that they'll be able to easily uh, import those clusters into Lens and begin to experience a whole new paradigm for working with Kubernetes that should make them both more productive with Kubernetes and help them um, really streamline their operations of Kubernetes so that it continues to um, you know, extend the value that that platform can provide. Can you talk about what kind of experience is it going to be because this is all virtual? We're expecting attendees to come into our booth just like they would at an in-person event. And once they're in the booth, they'll be able to navigate through a variety of Mirantis related information, whether that's demo videos or brochures, uh, they'll also have the opportunity to interact live via chat with uh, some of our product professionals and uh, product experts from throughout the company. 
So we're uh, staffing the virtual booth just like we would a regular event. And we're expecting to have some really valuable interactions with, with people as they um, take advantage of the virtual format. Dave, thank you so much for, for talking about the event and your participation. I can look forward to seeing you in the vir virtual format in the, at KubeCon next week. Likewise, I'm happy to see you there.